Shalom and blessings to y'all in Jesus' name. Check out that beautiful moon up there. Isn't that beautiful? I believe that uh, goes with the message that I'm going to speak here. That uh, the Lord is anointing ministries of power in these last days. He's going to anoint ministries of power. They're going to go out in uh, great power in his name. And these are the empty vessels that the Lord has been preparing in the wilderness for a long time. You know, they've... Um, They've been stripped of all the, the junk, you know. Are they perfect? No, but they're willing to submit to him in every way. They're willing to listen to him. They're willing to, to lay down their crowns. And uh, it, it reminds me of Moses, you know, when he was, he was raised in Pharaoh's palace. And um, he was, it says in, in the word that he was a man of strong speech. Paul said he was a man of strong speech. And, uh, he ended up killing this Egyptian, trying to set Israel free in his own strength, but it didn't work out. He ended up running away into the wilderness for 40 years. And by the time he saw the burning bush after 40 years, he said he was a man of stammering lips. And it was like the Lord God had emptied him of himself. And it was time for him to be used. And boy, did God use him, use him to deliver Israel out of Egypt. I believe that these Ministries of power in these last days are going to do the same same kind of uh, ministry on this earth that Jesus did. And he came and he set the captives free. He set them free and he took care of the sheep. He went after the lost sheep and he took care of the flock just like David did. And um, I pray that you are part of this ministry and I'm part of this ministry. I pray that we would submit and we would be those vessels, those empty vessels that are filled with his power like um like the emptied or sorry the new wine skins i should say because he could fill them up with that new wine and they won't burst god bless you guys and uh have a great night